Vita, and I'm here to take you through a five minute arm workout. For this workout, we're gonna be doing a lot of reps. So we're gonna start with some light weights. I highly suggest going for this two and a half or maybe five pound weights at the most. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be tempted to go for the big heavy weights, but just keep in mind, this exercise is more about toning your body rather than bulking up. We have five exercises, and the first one is V-ups. So you're gonna start with feet planted about hip width apart, bring your weights all the way up to shoulder level, and then diagonal out. You're gonna slowly bring your weights down to your hips, and then lift up, just before you get down to your legs, and then lift, and breathe out, and lift. You're gonna repeat this 10 times, nice and slow. Bring your weights back up to shoulder level each time, and then once you get to 10, lift it up and pulse, just halfway up. Bring the tempo up just a little bit and pulse. Halfway up, halfway down. Pulse and lift. Pulse and lift. Keep repeating this for 10 reps. Once you're finished with the 10, hold the shoulder level for 10 seconds. This is where it really burns. So you hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 bring your weights back. In between exercises you can do some reverse lunges. So just bring your leg back and other leg back alternating. Keeping the knee right over the toes and weights just by your side. The second exercise you're going to keep your feet again hip width apart and bring your elbows to meet your center. Weights by your side. Rotate them in towards your stomach, palms together and then out. This is working the rotator cuff as you just rotate your arms in and out, keeping your elbows right next to your body the whole time. You want to extend as far back as you can, squeezing your shoulder blades together nice and tight, like you're squeezing a pencil. You're going to repeat this nice and slow for 10 times, and then just pulse halfway again. Pulse to the back, pulse to the back, pulse to the back, and squeeze. Keep squeezing every muscle in your body, including your abs. Once you finish with 10 reps, hold, squeeze to the back for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep squeezing back. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Again, weights can just drop by your side and shake it out with some reverse lunges. I would recommend about 30 seconds of lunges in between each set. Our third exercise is bicep squared. Feet planted hip width apart. Bring your elbows up all the way up to shoulder level. Straighten up the arms. Start with your right arm out in front, left arm out to the side, and bring your waist in towards your head, keeping your elbows right where they are, shoulder level the whole time. So you're making about a 90 degree angle with your arms. This one takes some coordination as well to keep your arms right where they are. Nice and slow for 10 times. Keep breathing in and out. And once you finish with your 10, bring them up, weights up to the ceiling, just pulse. Pulse and pulse for 10 reps. Up and down, not letting your elbows drop, and hold for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Let the weights drop, shoulders can roll down, reverse lunges, keeping your chest lifted, shoulders back. For about 30 seconds. And then plant your feet for the other side. Left arm out in front, right arm out to the side. Elbows up to shoulder level. Work those biceps as you bring the weights towards your head. This one is really getting your biceps and also your triceps at the same time. Repeat for 10. And then bring them up to the top and just pulse. Nice quick pulses. Repeat it for about 10 seconds. And hold for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep squeezing your abs. Four, lifting your elbows. Three, two, and one. Let them drop. And reverse lunges. The fourth exercise is overhead presses. 
So bring your elbows up 90 degrees, make a goal pose sign, and then squeeze and lift. Lower to shoulder level. Squeeze and lift. And lower. Palms facing the front. This is working the back and the upper arm. Repeat for 10, nice and slow. And once you get to 10, bring your elbows in for pec presses, keeping your elbows up. Bring them in and out. Palms in and out. We're really working on our shoulder stabilizing muscles here to prevent injuries so we can do the things that we love to do and all the sports we love. And once you reach 10, bring your elbows in and just pulse and pulse, building up that lactic acid again, toning our arms. And finish with a hold, 10 second hold, nine, this is the hard part, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let the arms drop, reverse lunges. At this point, you're really thanking yourself for picking those lighter weights. Ready for the last exercise. This one's my favorite. Bring your arms all the way up, out in front of you, and just pulse. Keeping as straight as you can with those elbows. Soft bend in the knees, okay. Keep those feet planted into the ground. And then with some music, begin to pulse to the side. And keeping those abs engaged, you're gonna pulse to the center for about 10 seconds each, and to the side. And finish real nice and strong to the center for 10, nine, eight, big finish, five, four, three, two, and one. To really tone your arms, I'd recommend doing this five minute workout at least three times a week. Great job, I hope you had fun, and stay tuned for more workout challenges to come. So to really tone and sculpt your arms, I would, oh wait, arms? <laughs>